Hey, we're back. What do you know? Another one. We are going to have a great time on this one. We're doing a deck 12 by 18 to the corner of the house. And then we're building walls up there and putting a slider and two windows and a wall on the other side with another window. So this is going to be a DAC composite. We're going to do it first and then we're going to go and build the walls because we'll have the deck to, to walk on. So, and over here is going to be a big set of stairs going down. So come along with us, another great job, and I want to walk you through the whole thing. See ya! I had some uh, camera problems on making this video. Uh, my good camera quit working in the beginning. It didn't have sound, so I had to resort to my old cameras, and they're a little bit shaky. They have some camera shake, and I, I wish it wasn't, but that's the way it is. So bear with me about halfway through this video. I know I got some camera shake. I tried to fix it the best I could, but at the uh, about halfway through, I get my other camera working, and uh, it's a lot better. So uh, thanks a lot for your patience, and enjoy the video. Take those handrails down there. Then pull up, run it, pull it up. There you go. Then you clean it. I mean, I'm not kidding you. We're here minutes. Maybe two, three minutes. And then we'll come and we'll clean those holes out with the manual. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, folks, it got hot. Typical Texas. Man, it's pushing right out 100 with some humidity. What is it? The middle? 18th of September? Ugh, this heat wave is really tough this year. I don't know when it's going to end. So it's 2.30, a little after 2. And uh, we got rotor hammered with all the bolts on. Kind of a little extra in bolts. It'll be every 16 18 inches which is fine it's going to be a deck people are going to walk on it i did lay those out so they didn't hit where our, our joist hangers go i actually pulled my tape on there and put them in between the joist hangers so tomorrow we're going to put joist hangers up and then we'll build our beam cut it off cut the post off level across 
subtract the difference of the beam, cut the post off, it stick or beam right on top. And uh, we have the brackets to put on. That'd be cool. Lots of fun. Tomorrow we'll have this whole thing framed. Okay, let's we'll go get out of the heat and live to fight another day. Okay, so this is what we did. We took a 2x6, stuck it in our bracket, leveled across. Then we subtracted the space for the beam to go in and made a mark. Measured down the 9 and a quarter inches and cut these off. So when the the nine the two by ten fits in here it'll be set on top and it'll be perfectly level that's how we got level just use the level to go straight across and mark the beam worked out great okay okay we're building our beam we got three and a half inch plywood ripped down see that and it goes in between our two two by tens that will give us three and a half inches so it fits on our four by fours flush on both sides. It makes it nice for putting brackets on. I'll show you later. And then I just offset them. So I pulled, I need 18 feet, so I pulled right there 19 feet, gives me some extra. And I nailed that on with the two, the two together with the plywood and now we gotta fill this in with another piece. I'm going to nail it on. And then we got a piece. We'll flip it over and we'll put a piece over here. I'm not too worried about my uh, seams. I'm not too worried about my joints hitting on a post because my posts are so close together it won't make any difference. We're over, we're over on the 2 by 10 Our posts are like 7 feet. Oh, five, five and a, five and Five feet three inches apart, we got more than enough um, strength. Okay. Hey folks, nailing it up now. Should probably put three, so I'm gonna go back. Tyler does three. Okay. 
When I put that piece of plywood in between, that made it three and a half inches and we're flush. Some people don't do that, and then they just pound their bracket and it has a, a bend in there. I don't want to look stupid, so it's better this way. Plus, plus, that plywood gives it some strength, too. And we're going to stain all of this before we, before we deck it all. Okay, got to get one more bracket. Oof, another hot day. Oof, we did good. The guys did real good. Everybody worked hard. As you can see, we're over there where the shade is. It's just been hot. So we make it till 2, 2.30. That's about it for us white boys, but we're framed. And uh, we got the front on here. Got all our brackets on. Actually, I'm short. Home Depot's out of brackets. We, I'm still short, like two. But you can see, there's our brackets. And there's our brackets. And there's brackets over there. <laughs> and we're all nailed off. Now we started to cut this post back. And that's what happens is you run out of battery. So we'll have to finish cutting that one back in the morning. We're going to go up there on, I got stairs to build tomorrow. Go up there on Thursday with Ernie and we're going to start framing, framing that. Our beams turned out so good. Post and beams. So we got another bracket there. I'm short a bracket there. Yeah. Now, what I do on these is I do a little design. I just don't like it to be cut off. I, some people don't even have the post come out here. They cut the post off back there, even with the, the post below. But I don't like that because I want this one to have support too. So I came down four inches, and then I put a little 45 on it instead of going straight. And uh, it looks pretty nice going that way. It gives it a little design. Get it all done and stained. People seem to like it. You can do what you want. But I do like that beam coming all the way out. And uh, not stopping back. And then they just don't have a... They have the end would be holding it. I want my floor joist there to sit on that beam. So that's me. That's how we go. That's how we roll. And we'll be back tomorrow. Okay, we're back to building steps here. Now, this is one of my patterns that I get from Home Depot. I've uh, told you guys about. And it's going to fit perfectly. I put the level on it, lower it down just a little. It's almost perfect. I might have to dig it in a little bit. We got some pavers. got some pavers to put down there. Mark's over cutting the beam off from yesterday. I heard bad language. No, I didn't. I just heard you. Ah. 
So our, our Home Depot is going to work perfect. I thought I might have to modify it, cut one off. Then I'm just going to use that as my pattern. And I keep that at home so I don't have to keep buying one. That's my pattern. <laughs> it works. You don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's our stairs. There's our stairs. And we nailed, we took the pieces we had left over of the 2x12 and we nailed it on the back side. Um, and then that is what this is going to be screwed into. And I'm going to screw it because I might have to move it later and adjust it for some reason. So we're just going to put screws in it. Then I might come back and put some nails in, but that's what we're going to do this time. This should fit right in there. We're going to have some ground problems. I brought, I brought some blocks. Block it up and uh, put it on some cinder blocks, pavers. Okay, that's an easy way to do it. It's holding our stairs together. We're going to pick it up and just slide it in there. We'll show you. There's our steps being sprayed. We had to go to the had to go to the airless. Spraying it with the bare semi-transparent. Pre-spraying the deck so it doesn't rot. Trying to do them in a really good job. So we're pre-spraying spraying it before we put our decking on. Mark spraying and videoing. Makes it easy. And then I'll just do the upper part by hand. They're close. You don't have to get too close. Maybe start down there. It's flowing this way. Okay. It's hot. Don't you love Texas? We got it all framed. There's our three, three foot by five foot windows. Our six foot slider. And our other three foot by five foot windows. I'll show you. You can see our king cripples, kickers underneath, king cripples, headers. We just did a 2x4 header over there. Here, we did a 2x6 because it's a bigger span. But no, it all worked out. Worked out really well. <coughs> just hot, man. We just have a terrible time working much past 2. 1.30. We made it till 2.30 today. Quick lunch. And the homeowner worked with the homeowner to get the size of windows. Get them right off the shelf. Everybody happy. And then tomorrow, tomorrow... We're framing that wall. Bring you along. Okay, it's tomorrow. We framed two more windows like the front for our side wall. Uh, all turned out good. We're ready to pick it up and put it in.
cutting the plates out after the walls are set. Nice to do so you don't trip over them. Just use the Sawzall and uh, try not to hit the concrete so you dull your blade. <laughs> he's cutting that side out. Now he's going to go to the other side. Okay, keep showing you the little, little stuff. You can do it yourself. Okay. So what I did is put some two by sixes on the sawhorses. And I just put a screw in there just to, well, to kind of hold it. It held over here. <laughs> put another screw in. And then uh, I can cut off of that. It makes it a lot easier. So I can cut my sheeting. I'm just doing this myself. So I got those in. And now I got to go. Now, I ran them that way. You could have ran them up and down. I just fit, looked like this covered four feet wouldn't do it in one shot up and down. Then I'd have a piece. This kind of made less pieces. You could do it either way. A lot of people have their own ideas. This is how I do it. Um, not always. I used to do them up and down sometimes. But uh, I just laid the sheets that way. And then uh, we got to go up there and piece all those in. And then Ernie's coming, and we'll go do the other side, which I definitely need help. Okay, piece her together. Cutting out windows with the Sawzall. Works good. Okay, it's getting hot. Boy, we're getting up to 2, 2.30 now. Shoot, one of these days we might make 3, 3.30. Man, not 1.30 though. It's almost 2.30. So, I like to do longer days, but it's hot. Ugh. Humid and hot. Okay, there's our weather wrap put the windows in we're going to do the tape over the windows it's pretty cool gives it a real weather seal then with the weather wrap you really end up with something i got it all sheeted the weather wrap on this side's all wrapped other than the very top but it's hot and i'm doing it in the morning okay we did good we did good. Okay, I think it's two. Might be a little after two. We're doing better. It's hot. But we are cooling down a little. Got windows, sliding door in. Now, I know you're going to ask, but yes, the one in the middle is white. Because that's all they have in stock. They actually had those beige ones in stock. And she wanted, they wanted to do the windows at least in beige. And the slider was fine in white. Um, I don't particularly like it. So I told them you can paint it. Um, they've, uh, Holton Depot said they've heard of them being painted many times. Take a piece of that flange off. Take it in and they'll custom match it. Stick it in my little spray gun. Or my, might even pull out the, the airless and turn it way down tape it off and we'll paint that thing otherwise we're waiting four weeks six weeks so we're painting but for one day we did okay um, 
he got the uh, Ernie got the insulation in so we got the insulation in and uh, we got our our doors and windows in everything opens really nice those ply gems were great deckings in in stock it, I mean it came in at Home Depot special order it's in so I'm picking it up in the morning we'll lay it up here at least get it laid up there put our 30 pieces over here and uh, we'll get started on that in another day or so okay okay we got the video camera going you can't see nasties <laughs> <laughs> I like you and Mark that one day. Oh, shh. I have to edit stuff out, man. <laughs> no talk about the girlfriends, the ex-wives, <laughs> the girl wives. I have to do all this. Hey, I have to do all this editing. We no cussing. Hey, my grandkids watch this, so. There ain't none of that. I got people. Well, we. Yeah, that's fine. We pre-drill. Cause it's just easier. Man, not pre-drill. Ernie is a machine on these things. I don't think we need anything. We don't need a, a, a screw gun. We got Ernie. He's as fast as Mark. You're as fast as Mark. So what we're gonna do is we'll take the drill. We're gonna pre-drill a hole. Keep going. I like that. Show him. So, and now I'm pre-drilling the hole, which makes it easier. Put these in there. Good. You don't have to. T20. You don't have to pre-drill, but it's just really hard. You know what? Do one for the video that we don't pre-drill. Okay, now that's pre-drill there. Now do one right there that we don't pre-drill, just for fun. We're gonna do one that we're not gonna pre-drill. Right here. Okay. <laughs> That's a little stubborn. Yeah, yeah. As you can tell, it's a lot easier to pre-drill than it is not to pre-drill. Slower, and it takes more power for the drill. Yeah. Man, Ernie, you keep this up. Maybe you be doing the narrating. My number one uh, narrator there. Number one what? <laughs> uh, uh Outside. Yeah, the outside one. Mark's been on my vi I mean, Mark, uh, um, Brian's been on my videos for a long time. <laughs> That's why they watch it. Okay. Here we go. We got the plywood still there so we can walk on something. Now, we brought all these up. Now we gotta go get more out of the car trailer. Woohoo! Okay, I'll get it on the next one. Get them coming down here with the pile. Still so dang hot here in Texas. We love that fan. We just carry it around everywhere we go. This is looking great, man. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Where they come? We're gonna get a picture. They're way out there in the street. Unloading off the car trailer. White boys that really work. Hmm. <laughs> Two at a time. These are 20 footers, by the way. Okay, we're back. Next morning. I don't know what morning this is. Ernie, you're getting more pictures than anybody else. Is that because you're doing the most work? I don't know. 
So what he's doing is pre-drilling a whole bunch of them. And then you're going to go put a bunch of screws in and then screw them all at one time. <laughs> right? I almost need my blower up here, don't I? Yeah. So we can blow all the crap off. Now what I did, took one of our boards, mm -hmm. I'm talking here, and put it right here on the side. That makes our skirting. Sure makes it nice. Now, see, we don't have one there. We sustained framing lumber. We're going to take that one, and we're going to put it up here, and that'll give us our, our skirting. So it's the same as the top. And then we're going to cut this off three quarters of an inch hang over. And then with the extra, we're going to rip the pieces off the side. Like this. We're going to rip this down to quarter or eighth of an inch. And then do like I did on my other deck. And glue and nail them right to the side of this. It looked great. See this little thing up here? Yeah. There's a little notch, the first notch. Mm -hmm. It's almost perfect. So it's easier to read that than look at my blade. Now I think I've showed you, this is that pre-made fencing handrail from Home Depot. What we're doing is we're just connecting the one end and we connect it and then we put our post in place. And you got the clips. Pull that out just a little so I can show. See the clips that go in? I'll show you on the next one. And then worry about it. Okay, let's see. Let me see. You can push on it as hard as you can. And then we go do that. Okay, we are cruising. We got the handrail going in. We got our, our little pieces that go in there. Remember I, oops, I showed you? Hang on, let me put it back in there. Okay. Then what we do is we connect it. Then once it's connected, then we'll put the foot where it needs to go. See if we can do this better than last time. Brian, you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one. Well, that's fine. Yeah. 
Okay, you put it in there, I'll connect. Right yeah, I'll move it around here in a minute. Put it right in the middle. Oh, right there. Now keep it. Yeah, it's a, it's a ways there. Oh, you can. One more shot. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're going to have to come back. I have to nail a board in there or something. Yeah, sure. I've done that. Okay, Saturday morning. We'll even work, we're even working Saturdays. Yeah, trying to get her done. Got a lot of the deck just about done. There's our number one, putting the screws in. There's our, our piece on the front with our, our little edge that we nailed on with the finish gun that I showed you that we ripped off. Handrail up. I'm trying to shoot this early so I don't get so much glare. Yeah, let's try that. Turned out. Turned out all right. They love the handrail. He's going to want a gate up here, so we're going to build a gate today. Let's walk up in here. shot as you notice the big fan still here it went from 105 to 102 weeks and weeks down to 98 barely coming down now I think it's supposed to be 94 today there's our handrail our gorgeous now this one we did timber tack on that's our timber tech, synthetic. Well, composite, I should say, not synthetic. I'm not even sure they call this one a composite. It might be a PVC. Great ratings. And there's our, there's our building and our siding that we're gonna start on right here. Doing our hardy. We got to build a gate. Gate there. Like I said on my first video, to keep the goats out. <laughs> this one's to keep the kids in. <laughs> okay, let's get her done. Okay, yeah, there you go. Drop it in at the same speed. No, no, let yours down, Ernie. Okay. Blow it out. There you go. Just a little bit. Let it drop right in there. Woohoo! Just like that, folks. Okay. Okay, we're getting it. Almost got it. Little piece at the top, four inches. We're ripping it down and that's how you do it. No big deal. Let's see how we... We notched here. Notched around so there's no seam.
Okay, we're running the siding up. Right there. Boom, 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 and cut around. Okay, slide that, look at that piece of art right there. Okay, go help him so I can video. <laughs> okay, let's show him. Oh, there you go. We got it all carved out, toothed out. See how we did. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! Fit right in. Okay, let me grab the gun. I gotta go nail, guys. Oh, I can't believe it. It's almost, let's see, it's 245. We got clouds out and we're down to 95 degrees. We actually could work till almost 3 o'clock. And I'm not dying. <laughs> Mark's going around with the paintbrush and touching up all the bolt heads of the bolts. I'm always making it look good. Works out great. He touched up every single one of them. This is the handrail that I buy at Home Depot and uh, it comes in eight foot sections and we just put it together. It works out great. It, easy way to do it and it just looks sharp. Second time I've done it, my customers see it on the first video I've ever done and they say, hey, I want that handrail. So uh, we're going to keep doing it and uh, it's lots of fun. Mark's welding on our pickets, and uh, I get to hold the four-inch block in between for the spacing. <laughs> Getting showered a little bit, but they aren't hot, hot sparks, and uh, I'm looking the other way. Don't look at it. <laughs> we did hardy trim on the inside. That's what the customer wanted, kind of an outdoor, indoor room, and uh, we used the 4 by 8 sheets on the walls. It turned out really nice. And uh, then we trimmed it out like you would uh, a regular window uh, if it was stain grade. But he loved it. It turned out super. This is what we ended up with at the final uh, product, and uh, really was fun, and here we go. This is what we started with, so I like to show these differences at the end. I haven't done that very often. I'm going to start doing it. Oh, what do you know? Extension cord to the front of the house. <laughs> oh, this is what we do when it comes lunchtime. Over to the microwave. You gotta have a microwave on the job site. And we're eating, ch eating chicken strips. Whew, boy, do we know how to live. I had to show you our lunch routine. I always wanted to show that. Sometimes it's chicken strips in the microwave, and sometimes it's just eat out of the, the lunch pail. But I have that microwave, and the guys even bring their own food and heat it up. It's a lot of fun. Customers laugh. And they're always giving us stuff, too. But, hey, like I said, I've had some great customers, just one after another. These people were some of the best. And, uh, man, I just love to work for them again. They were so easy and fun. Just awesome. And I just, just one after another, I've really been fortunate to get them. So uh, I hope it continues this way. I'll keep making videos. Subscribe. And to my channel i know i don't get them out often enough but uh i'm working at it and i enjoy doing them and hope i can give you some ideas on uh, doing your projects and uh, if you have any questions you can leave me a comment it'd take me a while but i'll get back to you and uh, see you on the next one